Hi, hi everyone. I was asked to do a demonstration about these toggles. Um, basically, I carved these out spur of the moment. I just thought I'll have a go at this because I'm not I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. But I was I was desperate. I didn't have any carabiner strong enough to hold the hammock, so that I could separate the hammock, the the rope, from going all the way to the tree. So I wanted to make like a a drip drip break. So basically the water wouldn't drip down to my hammock. Um, now what I usually do, so basically I just do something like that. Um, and I hope that when the water comes, it sort of hits this here and it soaks down instead of going onto my hammock. But because it was raining so much on Saturday night, early hours, it was really chucking it down. That didn't work one bit. So basically what I did is I put in a, a bite on this side. So run about a foot or so from the hammock from the end of the hammock set to there. I'll put that like that. And then I took this that I carved. So basically what you want to do, you want to put that knot there. And then you want to pass around the bottom of that knot. And that way around again, the bottom of that knot. It looks fiddly, but it's not fiddly when you do it on site. And then you put a knot, a bite there. And you just squeeze that down, like that. Right. And what you end up with is that like that. And the way this works is that this edge, this, this side is going to the tree. And if you notice, it's actually on the bottom of this, this side that goes to your hammock. So when your water runs down, when your water runs down this way, it's on the bottom. So the water is gonna to tend to want to drip down with the gravity and not climb up to the second knot above and then soak down here. So if you have a look there, the water will be traveling down here and gravity will be pulling it down because it doesn't want to travel, go up onto this knot and travel down. So I, I, didn't, know, I didn't know if it was gonna work or not, but it did, it worked. And I didn't get wet on the second evening. It worked quite fine. Just when you do this, make sure that this is underneath your top so that your top sort of still sticks over a little bit, obviously. So that's underneath your top. And then it will hang like that. So that's how it hangs. And it's not gonna, you know, it will help. It did. It it worked for me, so that's fine. I mean, I can still feel this. This is bone dry, and this is still a bit damp on this side because that's more or less where I put it. So yeah, um, I wouldn't suggest to use this as a permanent thing. Basically, what I want to do is I want to cut these down to about there and put a carabine on you and tie the carabine onto you. So like that, yeah? And then the rest of it will actually go on another carabiner, which will attach to there. So there's a good break between two carabiners and the water can never travel over. So it's impossible for the water to get over. And I think that's the best method that, that, that you can have. But I didn't have carabiners strong enough to hold my weight and, and Hold the hammock so that just came handy 
I just thawed that out and you know I put a little groove in there so it didn't slip off or anything like that and it stayed quite intact and when when you do do that make sure that the knot that goes to there always stays on the top and the knot that comes from the tree is on the bottom so that the water doesn't climb over so the water will sort of come up to there and then naturally just drain down with gravity it finds the easiest path so the easiest path will be going down here not jumping over up onto that string so guys yeah i hope you enjoy that and you know i hope this gets someone out of getting wet like i did um it worked for me it might work for you and you might enjoy carving a bit as well thank you very much happy camping stay safe stay dry and stay warm winter's on its way